There is heightened security in the nation's capital ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on Wednesday. The unprecedented security measures come after a violent mob of President Trump's supporters attacked the U.S. Capitol and as law enforcement officials continue to monitor threats posed by domestic extremists. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington tonight with the latest. With nerves already on edge, a security alert Monday morning sending people running through the halls of Congress. Turns out it was a small fire at a homeless camp about a mile from the U.S. Capitol. But it was another sign of the tension inside the nation's capital after the deadly insurrection on January 6. New disturbing video shot by The New Yorker revealing just how determined the rioters, who've been described as domestic terrorists, were. Defend your constitution! Defend your liberty! Some removing items from lawmakers' offices or taking pictures of congressional documents. God, this is something in here. We can this. Hunting for Vice President Mike Pence and Speaker Nancy Pelosi. And ignoring orders from Capitol Police. The FBI has now arrested dozens of Trump supporters who stormed the Capitol, including several with ties to law enforcement, the military, and extremist groups. Well-known New Mexico County Commissioner and founder of Cowboys for Trump, Coy Griffin, also arrested. Investigators still looking for 22-year-old Riley June Williams, a Pennsylvania woman accused of stealing a computer from Speaker Pelosi's office, allegedly with intentions to sell it to a Russian spy agency. Just two days from President-elect Joe Biden taking his oath of office, law enforcement officials leaving nothing to chance. Up to 25,000 National Guard troops will be stationed across the city. Security checkpoints and non-scalable fencing with razor wire already up. We're here to protect the citizens of the United States just as much as we are the seat of our government. Amid fears of a potential insider attack, the Army has been performing background checks on National Guard members involved in securing the Capitol. But everybody joining the military is screened in, and for an event like this, you're screened out. And a rehearsal for the inauguration had to be evacuated because of that security alert this morning. But officials say Biden was not there and there was no threat to the general public. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.